Hey folks, BQ back again with another live update. This one's about the Knockouts Championship. So there's a theme here with this Bound for Glory show. Well, although I've been entertained, it has been overbooked badly. There hasn't been a 100% clean finish on this show. And there's been a couple cleanish finishes, but it hasn't been clean. It's over. It's been overbooked. But not as bad as like Bound for Glory 2017, which was a horrible show. This this show is still good. I'm not I'm not knocking. I'm not saying anything negative about it in that sense. So Kylie Ray, this is would have probably been the the match of the night, and it was one of the most high profile ones. I mean, they did a mini documentary on it, big build to it. So Kylie Ray doesn't show up for the match. Storyline: We don't know if she was attacked. Or what? We don't know the story behind it, which which is okay. Sue Young steps out, answers open challenge, and wins. She's a new Knockouts champion. I like the match, even though it wasn't the match advertised. I think not giving us the mad a- match advertised was was not not good. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that, but uh, I'd like the match, and I like Sue Young. I'm happy she's champion. I would have given Dion a little bit of a longer run, <clears throat> um, but maybe she, they're going to do something with her in the tag team division. More on that to come. But Sue Young wins. She's the Knockouts champion. We don't know what's going on. So there's more of a story that's going to you know progress here, and I'm interested to see where they're going with that. But they did not give us the match advertised, being that it was such a high profile match in the semi main. I, oh, I don't know if that was a good idea. But there's a story here. Let's let him tell the story. Let's see what happens. But Sue Young, Knockouts Champion.